Hey guys. Um. <coughs> <coughs> this is a story of a justifiable homicide in my family. Now the story went that the great grandfather, which would be my would be my grandmother's great grandfather, so it would be my great 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 grandfather. Um, originally, the story, as it was told to us, was their great grandfather on the opposite side, on their mother's side. Um, they were my grandmother's first cousins on their father's side, Al. And um, supposedly the story came from their mother's side. My mother did a little research, and I can't find it at the moment. Um, and found that actually it's on their father's side, which means it's my great 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 grandfather, <coughs> Francois Bourdon, born in 1831 in Valentive, Quebec, Canada, and died in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1896, making him. Seventy-five years old, which was ancient in eighteen ninety-six. Um, so the story went that the man that they thought was their great grandfather on the other side, which turned out, according to my mother's research, to be on their father's side. Um, was a cobbler and he hit, well, let me go back. He was being bullied in his little town in Quebec, Valentive, or Valentive, I'm not sure exactly, maybe you can help me with that. Um, and he was tired of being bullied and one day, he walloped a man over the head with his cobbler's hammer, ran across the border to the U.S., and settled in Massachusetts, never looking back. Now, I will put a picture of a cobbler's hammer. I had never really seen one until I was at my old apartment talking to my landlord, and I said, what the heck kind of hammer is this? Because it has the like the nail puller type thing on the back, but it's straight down and it's solid steel, all steel, the whole thing, <clears throat> like one piece of forged steel. And he said that's an old cobbler's hammer. And then I told him the story about Francois Bourdon and the cobbler's hammer. I said, Boy, yeah, you could kill somebody with this easily. Yikes! So I will put a picture of a cobbler's hammer in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um. This man was said to be a tiny man. Um, and that's why he was bullied so badly. And he finally just had enough. <laughs> that's why I call it a justifiable homicide, and so did my mom. But I have to give this lady all the credit. She always said, there's truth in these stories that the elderly tell us. We just have to figure out, you know, untangle their memories with records, and that's what she did. I love you, Mommy. You left me with so much. You left me with knowledge. Knowledge of where I came from. You left me with the ability to cook, to take care of myself. You left me with the ability Breathe. I love you. I miss you. I love them. Anyway, um, I wanted to do that with you guys and curl up right next to her um, because she hated that people gave me credit for the genealogy and never gave her any credit.
And I don't know why they didn't, because I always said, no, 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 that was her. That was her. And so... In spite of what she may have thought was a good person and deserved to be loved. And I'm going to dedicate this video to her. I'm going to get my big head out of the way so you can see her. I'm going to bring it in while I do the outro. There we go. She'd be like, oh my god. Thank you for joining me, guys. For joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you. May we never forget our moms and our dads. This is for you, Mom. I love you.